Hello, I'm Jevon a former naval submarine commander who subsequently became director of intelligence for a government agency on the south bank of the Thames. No, not that one. Although my last payroll number was 007, and my personalised number plate is an anagram of 007. Nonetheless, a full and varied career gives me a wealth of experience to call on for an extensive portfolio of topics on which I can present. The one common thread throughout my real career has been an association with the sea. It all started with an educational cruise on SS Uganda, where I first witnessed the power of the elements in a storm at sea, which led me to read oceanography for my first degree and qualify as a meteorologist. So I can give you talks on the mysteries of the shipping forecast areas or first-hand experience of the most powerful of tropical storms, hurricanes. I even had one named after me, and I accurately forecast the great storm of 1987, where others notoriously failed. The Uganda and I both joined the Navy, and our paths crossed once again at the time of the Falklands conflict. Like Nelson, whom I always tried to emulate, with the ultimate aim of ending up pickled in brandy, I spent the early part of my naval career in the West Indies. In my case, in the Hurricane Guardship, and eventually departed from naval service from Gibraltar, where I ran a series of submarine exercises. I even dined on the gun deck of HMS Victory to mark the 200th anniversary of the Battle of Trafalgar. So with this affinity, with the immortal memory, I can tell you about his exploits in the Caribbean and on the rock. As a midshipman in Liverpool, I commemorated the Battle of the Atlantic and can talk on the northern convoys in hostile waters where I subsequently conducted covert operations. For with my background in weather forecasting and underwater acoustics, I was closely associated with the Fleet Air Arm and the Submarine Service, and I'm immersed in their history. The Fleet Air Arm's greatest hour was the Battle of Taranto, when swordfish aircraft, known as string bags, flew off HMS Illustrious. Having sailed around the world in the next generation lust, I'm well qualified to tell you about that. Also, now that sufficient time has elapsed, I can reveal how we Cold War warriors used to play hide-and-seek with Soviet submarines. In more recent naval history, as a senior officer in submarine operations, I had staff firing the first cruise missiles in the first Gulf War. And as commanding officer of HMS Wildfire, I had personnel deployed in the desert for the second Gulf War. Yet, in my ultimate appointment as Deputy Director Maritime Operations, one of the units under my command was a survivor of the greatest naval engagement of all time, the Battle of Jutland. So I have connections covering a century of naval history. Naturally, after 37 years before the mast, man and boy in a navy blue suit, although much of that time I also had parallel careers in corporate industry, the civil service, as a voice artist and actor, and in biometrics and homeland security, working with Interpol, the Mounties, the FBI, and British security services, which I still can't tell you about, I am well versed in nautical language and tradition, and maritime folklore. So I can explain peculiarities of Jack's Beak and naval, as well as theatrical, superstitions, and can also regale you with tales of buccaneers and privateers. Now I have traded in my blue suit for a red coat. And I can update you with stories of how the role of a Toastmaster has evolved from ancient Greece to today's business. And my travels with a gavel, from royal and civic occasions and award ceremonies in London's West End, to weddings with Michael Jackson, Sinatra and Elvis, look and sound alikes, at least, in Las Vegas. I have officiated at a full gamut of venues, from exchanges of vows on a village green to huge society banquets in prestigious city livery halls. And I'm always available as a Toastmaster and Master of Ceremonies for functions on board ship or ashore. I have worked with most major royals and many genuine A-list celebrities, so I'm fully versed in protocol and etiquette. I have performed in over a hundred plays and musicals, trained with RADA, Central School, London Academy of Radio, Film and Television, Royal Shakespeare Company and the Poor School. And so I am steeped in showbiz tradition and anecdotes. So there you have it. From the spy who loved me to Toastmaster and Commander. 
by way of the perfect storm, the final countdown, and the hunt for Red October, with a dash of the Nelson touch, plus the real pirates of the Caribbean. Who needs a cinema with a Toastmaster aboard? If you need to know any more, meet me on the quarterdeck. Just be prepared to talk about the weather.